How's it going, everybody? Uh, I got myself kind of a little stream that uh, set up here uh, because I've been testing out some stuff for my NBA, and honestly, it's probably for the better right now uh, that for some reason I can't seem to get onto the 2K servers, which is kind of nice because then that would at least mean that I wouldn't really have to you know, worry too much about uh, when they eventually shut the servers down. Um, but I have been working on, uh, since, you know, my NBA uh, or, or 2k 25 is kind of the first year for a lot of the newest next gen stuff that they added, including a lot of the custom league stuff and all that. I decided I wanted to kind of test it out and Hey, custom league sizes means I can get myself a, uh, a uh, 12 team league going and so I thought that seemed like a it seemed like a fun idea so I got myself 12 teams that I made and I waited until uh I waited until um until a lot of the unlocked gyms came around and so that's what I was basically waiting on because I wanted a lot of the smaller gyms. And they finally got it. And there's a lot of gyms that really don't work with like full teams because they're mostly just made for five on five. Um, but there is a lot of, you know, fun. Uh, there's at least a few, um, you know, decent uh, small gyms, including the ones that I basically did all of these for. Uh, for the 12 team so I figured kind of jump into a game I ended up literally making an entire custom roster of guys like I think only when you go to the um, only when you go to the free agents will you actually find uh, oh Jesus see I gotta remember where it's at but yeah only when you go to the free agents do you actually find guys who uh, are actual NBA guys and they like very low tier NBA guys, but I mean, they do exist. Uh, I think I'm not sure about all of them, but usually you can find guys who, you know, had actual career stats with teams and, uh, stuff like that. So you find you can find a couple guys that you know maybe got drafted by the NBA and aren't being used anymore. But uh, I figured play at least a game, maybe two. I don't know, and uh, see how well this works out. I did change a lot of the um, rules around. That's one of the big things I liked about set, uh, about this is being able to uh, set up the rules uh, as. Let me see here. Just kind of looking at everybody here. But, yeah, being able to set up the rules uh, from the start, which is nice, because I remember when they first added the rule changes, it was kind of sort of a, a uh, in-between seasons type thing. So, and you can only do, like, three or five, like, oh, over the course. Ooh, that's very loud. That is very loud. Am I going to get the low VRAM every time because I'm running, uh, because I'm running, uh, uh, OBS. It might be, that might be a thing I got to deal with, but yeah, these are a lot of low tier players. I don't think there's anybody on the rosters that is, uh, that is above 71 there might be one like 72 guy but it's a lot of 71s to like 64 overall guys so a lot of low tier guys not a lot of super exciting basketball but it's it's kind of fun just all very fundamental to sort of uh give you that um What's the give you that uh, feeling of like very low tier basketball? Oh shit! I like kind of having this thing in the uh, corner here, so I kind of know what certain guys are good at. You know, there you go, there you go. 
tried to turn down the crowd quite a bit too, just to uh, hopefully. Obviously, it would be weird if it was uh, a little too uh, yeah, LA Fitness League. That's basically what I did. I tried to make sure that it wasn't like they that the even the uniforms weren't too fancy because if you're doing this like weird poverty league that has like 300 people show up, <laughs> you know. I even moved every single team to Anchorage so that they wouldn't fill up all the seats. Ooh! There you go. <laughs> I do know someone, uh, once they added... Uh, some of the small gyms in someone like added the uh, the YMCA logo to uh, to upload, and I can't remember if they did specifically a, a YMCA team like custom team using uh, I want to say it's the Chris Brickley gym, but yeah, if it was gonna be used for anything, it'd be used for that. I don't know if any of the modders will get it figured out. Uh, on PC, the uh, the the issue with some of the small gyms that don't have like official um, benches and stuff. So basically, if you're not specifically on the court, everyone just ends up uh, like in the middle, <clears throat> in the middle of the floor, just in this weird amalgamation of like one single person all jumbled in together. It's very it's very weird and. Monstrous. Looking for a foul there. But yeah, I didn't play... Uh, did I play 2K13? I don't think I played 2K13. So this is the first time since 2K22 I've really sat and uh, really played a lot of uh, 2K. And I think it's probably some of the most fun I've had since like 17 maybe. Because yeah, 18 was ass. 19 was no, not really a whole lot better. Uh, I think I played 20. It wasn't great. Oh, shit. Oh, still got it. So, yeah, I don't think I played 21. Played 22 is all right. But I was, I was specifically waiting for them to eventually. I was hoping that 23, maybe 24 was going to be when they finally moved to... Uh, Next gen, and I had to I had to wait an extra extra year, but finally, yeah, that custom leagues was what I was what I was looking looking at, and it was one of those things that uh, I was wondering how long I was gonna have to wait because I really didn't want to have to get like a console. Well, I do have a console, but I didn't want to get, like, a console version of the game. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, look at that. Are you optimistic about 2K25 modding? I think so. I mean, the, the stuff that they've already done, because I follow a lot of... Uh, the main guy that I follow is uh, The Goods. And I know he's already figured out... Uh, like, this is the, the Goods is the reason why I'm able to play in this gym right now. He got a bunch of small gyms unlocked. Uh, like I said, maybe they'll figure out how to mod in like a bench so that you could play it outside of just five five v five. Uh, but oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to pump fake, and then he didn't pump fake. But I mean, between that and then like figuring out uh, like the WNBA, being able to put the WNBA teams up to uh, swap out. Um, Swap out so you could do NBA versus WNBA. Oh, 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 get there. There you go. So I think with what they figured out, and then, of course, they already got an ESPN scoreboard. I haven't, I haven't done too much of the modding part there, but I see, like, some of the courts and jerseys and everything else, and they just... Uh, was it today or was it yesterday? But within the last day, they got the file editor. Uh, one of the known one of the known modding guys got one of the major got like his file editor up. 
which is going to make modding very easy. Ah, he got it. So yeah, I'm 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 optimistic. I know that there's a little bit of there's a lot of snafus right now, just because the uh, well maybe not snafus, but there's a little bit of a learning curve because of uh, because of the fact that I think they changed a lot of the oh come on, they changed a lot of the file stuff from early from uh, the earlier two Ks. How many microtransaction screens have you gotten yet? Mostly just on the, uh, interestingly enough, basically just on the intro screen. But that's mostly because I don't, I don't really get near my team. I don't go through my team, so. I fortunately didn't have to look through too much of it. I, w I do got to say, I'm very happy that they added in, uh, what was it, like importing and exporting of player DNA? Because it's basically, it's basically like you just slap on like a create a player. It's basically like a community creations create a wrestler. <laughs> but for NBA players. And it's great because I was able to take a bunch of guys, a uh, bunch of randos that was generated by the computer to uh, oh, a bunch of randos generated by the computer to help create the guys for this league. I got to remember that these guys are not good. There's a reason why I made them a certain way so that they work in some sort of Midwestern semi-pro league that draws like 300 fans. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. But now playing this means I got to remember. I got to remember. Uh, <laughs> I got to remember 2K8 controls, 2K14 controls, and 2K25 controls. All for the same series. Not the exact same series, but yeah, basically the same series. I was amazed because the last time I really looked through a lot of the draft classes was like when they first added it. And I was very disappointed by how many people were just not in the draft classes that were made. And I think they've gotten miles better over the, over the last few years. It's one of those it's one of those things that this is probably going to make me be like, "Oh, you know, I could I could if it was possible move a lot of my stuff over to this." Woo! Good shot clock violation before it dropped. Mm-mm. You know, I actually looked at the commentary. Obviously, the commentary wouldn't work for this. Because they'd be talking a lot about, like, Anchorage and stuff like that. Well, actually, no. Well, no. Yeah, pretty much. But, um... Oh, maybe? Maybe? Nope. Not a lot of, not a lot of three-point shooters in the league. So I've turned off the commentary for that, uh, but I thought it, it, I almost thought it'd be funny because you can choose, uh, there's like three different languages of commentary. I thought it would be funny almost to just do like Chinese commentary. I'm like, well, you're giving me the option <laughs> and I thought it might be interesting. I wonder if I can pick it from here. Am I able to pick that from here? I don't think I am. Audio presentation. No, I'm not able to pick it from here. Yeah, I'd have to like go to the main screen. But that would be funny. Just this low level semi pro league in <laughs> this low level pro league in America. 
<laughs> it's just got Chinese commentary. Might get some unexpected sponsorship on that. <laughs> All right. I did play one game with these guys. I have played one game to kind of test it out, and that's what made me decide I wanted to. Uh... I got to say, the pick and roll is so much more effective this game than it was in the in the opener. It might just be how these teams... It might just be the difference in how we had to, in how I had to deal with teams, but we'll see if uh, I don't know if he's coming in yet or not. Uh, was them Dorrington? No, I don't see him. But oh, what the hell? That was very early. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I was thinking there. But uh, one of our power forwards, Glenn Record. Just absolutely dominated game the first game. He hasn't he hasn't been a huge part. Mar Martis also did pretty damn well, so it's not shocking that he's doing well. But uh, yeah, record just absolutely killed it. <laughs> Played all forty minutes, I think, in in that first in the season opener. Oh shit. Was looking for a foul, couldn't get it. Can't wait for the Houston Hawk Tua's to be modded in. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Hawk Tua logo. Ah. I mean, they got logos for everything at this point. There you go. There you go. Probably not. Probably anyway. Okay. I wonder if I should turn this up a little bit. I don't know how uh, much it's sounding. Just turn it up just a hair. Yeah, we got a lead. Dude, it was it was so back and forth game one. This is a bit more dominant than it was. Uh this is a bit more dominant of a game that we've got going on right now, but it was uh it was super close for the season opener. Have I tried rhythm shooting? I've done a little bit. I you know what it is? I'm so goddamn used to my button pressing. I'm so goddamn used to button pressing, and you can see it because the difference between the the rhythm shooting and the and the button shooting, you'll be able to see the difference in uh, the um, uh, what it tells you because it'll also tell you about your tempo. I've done a little bit of it. I still have to get used to it. I'm still very. This is this is probably showing my age. I'm still very used to uh, things being a certain way. Which is funny because like right stick shooting has kind of been a thing for quite a while now, and I got used to that. But I know they were changing up a lot of the uh, a lot of the controls recently. Let me see if I can't. Let me see if I can't. Uh... There you go. Well, that one didn't mean so much because I was right underneath the hoop. But yeah, I heard, I have heard though, that once you get used to rhythm shooting, it's, it, it makes you better. I guess, it, I guess that's a very simplistic way of talking about it, but it, once you get used to it, it feels v much, much better. Mm, let's see what we get here. Yeah, that was not great. I was very, I was very slow. I didn't see the, I didn't really see the tempo, and and I was shooting from way further than I. Jesus, it is buff compared to using the button. Okay. Yeah, I might have to, might have to check check that out. There you go. 
There you go. You know what's amazing is I probably should do need to get used to that because these guys last game could not hit like a mid-range jumper to save their lives. And probably with rhythm shooting. Uh, probably something I can absolutely get used to. It is weird to get try to get used to the timing on uh, some of this because like the free throw timing seems off to what I'm used to in like the older games. Oh shit, that was way early. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta get used to rhythm shooting. I really gotta get used to rhythm shooting. This is ridiculous. This is gonna get nerfed in a patch, I swear. It's it's gonna be like all sports games that they do this, especially like NHL, where this shit's gonna get nerfed. Whoops. Whoops. Fuck. They're actually looking like basketball players out here. It's stuff like this that really is like, it's really going to make me hate the fact that there's like no new college hoops game out there. You can fill it with whatever microtransactions that I don't, I don't use anyway. Why is the, why is the controller going crazy? Are the connections getting loose? The connections are getting loose in this controller. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. I don't know why that's happening. I've had it for a little while, but maybe I have made too. Maybe it's been used too much at this point. Maybe I gotten my use out of it. This pick and roll is like deadly. If I can, if I get the rhythm down, I, I think this pick and roll is going to be deadly. Yeah, Andrews has been killing it in the. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Come on, come on! Oh, ah, damn it! Yeah, I this is one of the first times I can I'm hesitating to say that the old NBA games are better because the controls that they've gotten in the last few years you know, it just feels so much fun to play. There you go. Ah. At least the timing was good. I do enjoy the fact also because they put a lot of like visual bullshit on the screen and I'm very glad that they allow the customization of that visual bullshit to take some of that off. I really, I'm really a fan of that because <laughs> there's a lot of visual bullshit that I do not want on the screen. Oh, God damn it. And then I've been able to take off of it. Or at least be able to change or something along those lines. Oh, son of a bitch. He really should have drove to the hoop. I think he probably would have gotten it. Swanger is, Swanger is one of our best players, too, as I noticed. There you go. I just need to feed him. What the hell happened to Glenn Record, by the way, too? Like, what the fuck? I got to get used to some of the new buttons, but yeah, I honestly, like I said, this is probably about some of the most fun I've had in, uh, in a while with NBA 2K. <laughs> I need to get that. Uh, I need to get the ESPN scoreboard up and going. I think that's, that's my next, 
that's my next thing. Get the get the mod stuff figured out because I know it's mostly just a folder and a couple things that I could probably figure out. But get that figured out. Get the ESPN scoreboard up and going. Ah, son of a bitch. I'm like 12 a.m. at night talking about eating me. I'm a what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's been so much going on. Take a break. Take a break. <laughs> Two shots. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, he missed. Okay. <laughs> now I've caught up and it's something. Why? Okay. I think it might be a connection in the controller now. What the f Ugh. I was a bit of a goof. Yeah, there is no last season, but yeah. I would, that would be one thing too, is to be able to change, fundamentally change it so that it doesn't showcase the team, the NBA team that I replaced for this. But I'm okay with everything else. Ah, oh, I should have done it. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to keep trying some shots. Probably could have made the one when he was in the paint. Madden fans are tied to EA, want 2K or some other company to make NFL. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now they're, and now they're asking them to make some sort of, like, get some sort of NHL game. Listen. Up, oh, up. Oh. Come on now. There you go. But it's not the other way around because EA. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people who are like, well, you know, you know, like I said, I, I, I've said it before. A lot of people are like, well, you don't think that, you know, 2K football will be filled with microtransaction. It's like, hey, listen, the one thing that I will never defend the fact that 2K has got an absolute shitload of uh, my team horse shit. But I will defend the fact that they at least do a lot of work on the offline stuff. Like, this is, that was, I mean, that animation was a bit goofy. But, like, the shit that I can do in this game right now is fantastic compared to what you can do in Madden. Hmm. Ah. Oh. There you go. Do they do the I guess I got to check if how the rhythm if the rhythm shooting goes with free throws. Nope. I I mean it still does the tempo and everything, but there's not anything specific, which makes sense. But, I mean, my timing was... thats my, I think that was one of the few times... Most of the time, my timing is not tremendous when it comes to any of these shots, especially free throws. So, once again, I'll take that into consideration as I hopefully begin learning. Uh, oh, that was bad. That was awful. God awful. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, 
two K's. I, I wonder if two K has been making a football game because they've did this whole NFL two K thing, and then they did like a mobile game, and everyone was like, "This is it," and they're like, "No, this is not it." So there's a lot of people who are wondering if it was a playgrounds thing or if they were waiting to hopefully have the NFL license uh, expire for EA before they were like, haha, we've made a full fledged game. I could see it happening. There you go. All right. It, this could also be a big fact that I'm getting used to these players, but yeah, I mean, this is this is going quite well. <laughs> Hello? What league do you think we're in that that's going to work? Oh shit, that was bad. All sorts of bad. There you go. Yeah, no one's really begging EA to uh, make some of their old sports games that they used to make. Well, Fight Night, maybe. They they do ask EA to make Fight Night, which... Ah, shit. That's about it, though. I love the fact that it still has all the pomp and circumstance of, like, the big games. Look at this. The halftime. I think the halftime doesn't. The halftime show does not work very well. Uh, I think the halftime show does not work very well. I think it has its issues. Yep. It shows some of the abbreviated highlights, but yeah, it really doesn't seem to the game. The game really doesn't seem to like the idea that uh, we're playing on a, a gym that you're not supposed to. <laughs> All right. Swanger's almost got a double double. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it froze or not, so I hit a button. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Shaq is riveted by the semi pro game. Oh. Mm mm. I don't know if I can introduce uh, new players into the like free agency or anything like that in the middle of a my NBA. I'm kind of wondering about that because it'd be interesting to have low tier like former NBA players that are like, all right, I'm in this league, just doing like one more year or just <laughs> get some like <laughs> some like 50 year old. A uh, guy who was like drafted in like the 90s was like, well, decided I was going to play just a little bit of basketball. <laughs> no money. I originally didn't do this without a salary. I, I originally did this, and I'm glad I went through a couple iterations of this because I originally took the salary cap off because I'm like, ah, eh, salary cap isn't necessary. Then I realized how necessary the salary cap was because all of a sudden these 70 overall guys were being uh, were being uh, catered to like baseball players, like New York Yankees players. There was a guy who was like ranked 70 overall who <laughs> who was given like a two year, two hundred and ten million dollar contract. There were these like ridiculous contracts being handed out. And it's like, it'll still be ridiculous, but, you know, it is what it is. At least no one's going to be handed ridiculous, super ridiculous contracts. Oh, 
Oh, over the back, damn it. What do we got? We got record, Marty's. All right. Gives me a good idea as to how long this will take, too. I think the games will be probably about an hour because I'm running it with 10 minute quarters instead of eight. I feel like I feel like uh, 10 minute quarters feel semi realistic. I don't know. And you and I could still do a you know, a couple hours here playing uh, playing a couple games. Mm -mm. So it's not too bad. I would just have to uh, get on the game, get on the stream a little bit uh, earlier than I usually would. I'm glad the VRAM doesn't actually seem to be too bad. And they're not hearing my... Uh... Oh, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> I'm not hearing the the graphics card going crazy like as if it was mining bitcoins or something so i think we're okay it just probably doesn't like the fact that i'm running um a a uh memory i guess uh, obs isn't super memory intensive but i think this pl on top of other things you know what I keep finding out is memory intensive? Fucking streaming video on Discord. Ah, I just had to put that up because I didn't have a good position for him. I suck. I wish I could do more games in the season, but they pretty much were like, well, you can do almost no games, or you can do 22 games, or you can do an 82-game season. I'm like, well, I don't want to do an 82-game season. Uh, ah, damn it. I got to get used to kind of how all the, the timing of the... Um, I gotta get used to the timing of the uh, animations and everything. Let's see here. No one's really like super standing out. This uh, Swanger had been standing out a little bit, but like I said, the first game that I played, Glenn Record over there, the, the power forward, oh, Jesus, absolutely took over the game. Everyone was just being the drizzling shits, and then he went, like, 21 points, 14 rebounds, and, like, 7 assists. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, shit. Oh, got it off. I didn't want to chance it with the uh, rhythm shooting there, but still didn't make it. Oh, 212. Man, I barely, I've barely scored anything this, uh, this quarter. I think we mostly won by the fact that uh, their team happened to do, their team happened to somehow do worse at shooting than we did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are you trying alley oops in this league? This is the this is the fault of AAU basketball. I've seen ten year olds act like pros. I've seen ten year olds trash talk each other. I watched one ten year old talk about how short another ten year old is on the basketball court. Like <laughs> This is what this leads to. Hello? <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I'd say this team is quite not good, quite bad at defense compared to who we fought, who we faced in the last one. What in the fuck? What is your problem? There's a good chance that uh, this team is maybe one of the lesser teams in the league. Oh, shit. Ah, thought I had it. Well, I didn't think I had it, but I knew as soon as I let go that I didn't have it. <laughs> oh, shit. Of course, our defense is no better. And by that, I mean I'm no better. There we go. This jersey looked like the worn by the kid that did all the crazy dribbling. Oh, yeah. I made sure none of them had, like, the front uh, numbers. I wanted to make them look just, just passable for, like, a, a jersey. I wanted it. I wanted it to have very big. Like, it could have decent designs on it. But, yeah, I didn't want to have, like, it's like, this is a league that wouldn't spend money on front numbers. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of. League I want to showcase here. Oh, brilliant. Beautiful. Nothing makes me feel better than to have such an amazing shot <laughs> that it actually goes into a cinematic camera. <clears throat> All right. I wish I wish we didn't have the dancers because this would probably not be a league. This would be a league that would have like two of them. Because I because even like arena football, who pays their guys like maybe four hundred a game. Also, we there's like a full there's like a full cheerleading squad of like eight cheerleaders, ten maybe I can't remember. There's like a full ass cheerleading squad. It's like how much money are they getting paid? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, had some weird contact, but still made it. All right. He's taking, he's starting to take over the game a little bit. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See what you got here. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. I tried. Ah, oh, damn it! I do get a little too over jumpy, and that happens in just about every basketball game. I very much bite on most of the on most of the pump fakes. I will say I'm kind of bad about that. How's the custom league stuff going? Very well. I mean, as you can see, well, I guess you can see here. I got the, I got pretty much everything set up. I'm pretty much, I'm doing uh, just some games right now in my NBA, and so probably do something with it. I don't know if I'll stream it. Is the thing because, like I said, I've always discussed the idea of doing something not streaming. So that I could do like more short form video because I really do feel like I've seen enough stuff, especially with like college hoops or not college hoops, but like college football and NBA 2K and stuff like that is no one really wants to sit down and watch a whole ass stream. I mean, unless they're specifically sitting down for it live. So the idea and there's going to be some stuff there, a lot of stuff still that I'm I'm going to put on. You know, I'm just going to put the VODs and stuff on YouTube, but I figured at some point I could almost... Oh, shit, that was bad. If I took the time to actually do some editing, I could make something work out with shorter form videos. And I was originally going to do it with a hockey league, which I also have pretty much done and could do. 
but I was mostly waiting to see how NHL 25 turned out. And, you know, in the last like week and a half or so, it's pretty much told me everything I need to know about 25 and that I won't be uh, really doing anything with that. Oh, shit. Especially considering it's not on PC, but... Yeah, this was something that I, I thought about. Maybe I could use this as a shorter form edited content. Doing your own sports center. That was my idea. There's a guy. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know about how many subscribers he has, but uh, there was a guy. I don't know if he does it anymore. Honestly, I'd have to look. I want to say his name is Arios. I got, I'm pretty sure I'm still subscribed to him on YouTube. Let's see. Arios. Yeah. A-A-E-R-I-O-S. Got 38,000 subs. He has not done a video in over a year now. It looks like. Uh, I don't know. Didn't do a lot. When was, when was this last one that he did? August 28th, 2023. So he hasn't done done a video in over a year. But that's what he did for quite a while for his um for his Super Mega Baseball 3 into Super Mega Baseball 4 uh series is he was doing sort of a um a sports center. Whoops. Oh, I oh, I I I was waiting for him to hand me the ball and I didn't realize that he had already handed me the ball. I'm a dipshit. But yeah, he did that with his with his uh, Super Mega Baseball. Uh, I'm a bigger dipshit. He did that with his Super Mega Baseball three franchise that he was running, and made it shorter form and did uh, that sort of uh, ESPN Sports Center style. And I thought, oh, you know what? I haven't, I haven't done. Oh, nice. I have not done uh, a lot of like like big image editing and stuff like that, but I could easily figure out how to make something like that. And I could probably put like my own little flavor on it so that it's not exactly like ESPN or anything like that, but you know, do something similar. Custom League and a few different games cut together random B-roll footage. Yeah. You know what's funny is I've got I've got a few games for that. I've got this. Um, I've got my potential hockey league on NHL 19 because I think I've uh, showcased it before. I did I did some NHL Legacy stuff and I'm still was like looking at NHL Legacy stuff. Um, but I think for right now I might still do NHL 19 because I don't know something about the way I've gotten the gameplay down and made an entire custom league there i'm able to do that Take a break. and then Two shots. i think i was looking at like madden 08 stuff too because there's there's a weird thing there's a weird thing in the ps2 and gamecube maddens that they don't do anymore uh called tournaments now obviously they i'm sure i don't know if they have like a playoff mode or anything like that modern game hub was some crazy dumb glitch i mean i've heard that some people talk about other stuff in here that you know they maybe didn't quite figure out from years ago but yeah that was that was something i i, I thought about because it was like i have several games that i was like looking into for that uh like i said this NHL 19 for a hockey thing and then Madden 08 for a football thing because I found you can kind of do like a custom league. It's really weird. Uh, in, in the old PS2 and GameCube Maddens because they have a thing called tournament mode. And depending on how many teams you put in there, you can run. Uh, oh, Jesus. You can run a single elimination tournament double elimination tournament a round robin tournament and a double round robin tournament and i thought about that because you you basically can do those tournaments and then you still have a playoff after that 
I believe. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. Hey! Never remember that being a feature. Yeah, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, it did it again. It did it again. Figure yourself out. I need to get a new controller. I get paid on Friday, so... I was already... You know what? This is actually perfect timing because I was already looking getting a new 8-bit Doe controller. And it was going to be an Xbox-branded one so that I could potentially use it for my Series S or Xbox One specifically, I would say. My Series S, I like the Series S controllers. But yeah, the Xbox One because I have NHL 19 for that. But yeah, slog of manually locating, locating each team in franchise mode during the first season. <laughs> But yeah, the cool thing about uh, so the cool thing about the PS2 GameCube Maddens, I'll have to show it after this game honestly because it's actually really cool. Is they have uh, the Madden DB Extreme Editor, so they have the Madden DB Editor for a lot of the PS3 games. I want to say, but you have the DB Extreme Editor, uh, which is for like the PS2 GameCube level uh, games. I forget the difference between the DB and the Extreme. Excuse me, Jesus. Um, the difference between the DB and the Extreme. But either way, Madden DB Extreme Editor allows you to do a lot of roster editing in the PS2 and uh, GameCube era uh, Madden and NCAA. Yeah, I was going to say NCAA Next, I think, uses the hell out of it um, for roster editing. And... It was, it was another thing where I got into it because I went, hey, I saw the uh, tournament mode and I realized you can make, and there's literally, you can make as many teams in the tournament as possible. Like you can make, or up to 32, but you can literally have like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, however many teams you want in the tournament. And they'll make you a round robin tournament if you want. So I thought the best idea, eight team, eight teams, double round robin, because that was really the thing that I loved is the double round robin thing. And that's 14 games. So you're playing home and away each team. That's practically a season right there. That's at least a mini season right there. Plus, you can do uh, playoffs with it. That's perfect. <laughs> you could do an eight team. You could do a four, like a two, four, eight team playoff after all of that to determine your champion db editor allows you to change the names of a lot of the uh, of pretty much all the teams which is uh, which is really nice ah uh, yep i figured and i ended up looking into the codes i ended up looking at this is the thing that really convinced me about this was i ended up looking into the codes of um like doing a lot of digging into the editor itself. Um, and I think they do this for NCAA Next as well, but I dug into a lot of the, the sheets and stuff on the editor and found out, like, uh, if you exported... I don't remember if it was the tournament itself or if it was rosters, but you can export the rosters, and there's a specific tab for stadiums and then you basically, you can match up the stadiums with codes. And then I realized you can match up those codes with the stadiums. And they had literally every playable stadium, including practice fields. So I found out you can go into uh, the editor and start up a tournament and do all that. And then change the stadiums used in the tournament to the practice fields so that you can do an NFL ver or a, a football version of this where you're basically playing on no team, like no fan practice fields <laughs> for the entire tournament for everybody. And the, and the, and there's a variety. There's like four different practice fields that you play on in Madden 08 for the, uh, for the PS2 and GameCube. So it's kind of fun. You can get the practice fields. Yes, you can. I will, I will be happy to show that because we'll, it, it, this won't take super long after this game, but I will, I'll be happy to show you that because yeah, I found that out. And you could do it, you could do it just on play now as well. 
So you have to, if you start like a season or a tournament or something, you'd have to do it for the season or tournament file. But you can honestly have it where, um, you can honestly have it where even on play now you'll be able to do it. Yeah, it's it's dope. Because like originally I wanted to, because originally I was like, well, Madden 08 would kind of be the place to go because, you know, as far as like small, uh, as, as far as like small, um, stadiums are concerned they still have the nfl europe stuff so you can play it like on the nfl europe stadiums but they're still not super small a couple of them are kind of small like you know b tier d1 school small but you know not extra small but yeah once i saw the practice fields i was like yep <laughs> i'm convinced <laughs> Stuck with Madden 05 next. Yeah, I'm, which is the, you know what? I, I don't fault them at all because of the PS2 thing, because usually a lot of that stuff is on the PS2. But they don't have a Madden 08 next for the GameCube version. And I'm, so I'm kind of having to make a lot of my own stuff or import stuff from like Madden 08 next uh for the ps2 but yeah i've been i've been looking at uh some of that stuff because they don't do it for the gamecube which i i do understand because like i said ps2 version is probably what people played and there's that extra button and you don't have to do all the goofy like double button presses that you have to do on a gamecube where like there's a left bumper and right bumper r1 and l1 instead of having to do like z plus b or something like that but I I love Dolphin, and I like Dolphin uh, way more than PCSX2. I think their their texture dumping and everything that they do there is much better. By the way, it's ridiculous how much better my shooting is already getting in this game. Some of these guys, I was already pretty well convinced. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to shoot hardly with these guys and. Just forcing myself to getting used to rhythm shoot. Why? Whoa! Hang on. Time out. Did he just pull a Roy Hibbert? Did he just pull a Roy Hibbert? He did. That was a that was a failed alley oop that went in. Man just pulled a Roy Hibbert. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I think you can look that up on YouTube where it's like Roy Hibbert failed alley oop three, where he did that exact same thing. It's probably one of the biggest highlights that he had from his Hornets days. Yeah. Roy Hibbert three pointer. And he doesn't have many career threes, but yeah, there was one that was just about, that was literally a, a failed. It was just like that where he, he, Tossed up the ball. It was when he played for the Hornets. He tossed up the ball for an alley-oop. Son of a bitch. And he accidentally overshot the pass, and it just went in. And he just had a look like, eh, okay, then. <laughs> like As he does it, it was like, oh, three-pointer. Okay. <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> oh. That's that's fantastic that that happened. By the way, it would be funnier, by the way, if the few people that were here actually started filing out more uh, if uh, if they're losing this badly. They, they, I don't think they've still I don't know the, a lot of the a lot of the backseat. Well, a lot of that last row hasn't been filled out to begin with, but. That's why I put everybody in Anchorage is because that's another thing I looked at uh, as far as the city is concerned. So I put every single team is technically in Anchorage because that the, the way that they do attendance in Anchorage is it is pretty much like 30% filled. Like if you do a team in Anchorage, they do not want a, they can't handle an NBA team. So the game literally gives them like 30 to 40% attendance. Maybe there's a lot of empty seats, even on the big, even in the big buildings. It's kind of fun. Um, 
And I, and I, I wish that they did that in, in other games. I would love to go to some bumfuck nowhere place. Be able to p put a team in some bumfuck nowhere place and then there's no one shows up. But no other no other no other game wants to do that. <laughs> no other game wants to show the Oakland A's having literally no, almost nobody in their stadium or the Chicago White Sox. It's got to it's got to feel like a like an NBA like a like an actual playoff game all the time. But yeah, I I do glad I, I am glad about that cuz obviously those seats in the back that are pretty much empty would be filled. This thing would be a, a lot more filled with people if I was in like one of the bigger cities if I hadn't moved them. So honestly, because of this, it just feels perfect. Oh, oh, no, you spun too much. Damn it. You got one too many spins in. Is everyone getting simmed out? Yep. <laughs> I didn't know if the uh I didn't know if the uh AI was going to try to shoot it anyway even though they were down 25. The one thing I will say though about being able to do a 22 game season is it makes it feel very realistic to actually go through the whole season. You can kind of uh, uh, record still ended up getting the player of the game. He wasn't as dominant as he was in the last game, mostly on the boards, but yeah, I have a, a he, he still did good. Uh, let's see. MLB, the show 25 is a Sacramento A's stadium. Yeah. Uh, anything to do with the new Yaku spirits? I will see. Um, I do not have a PlayStation five. I don't remember if they're doing it on the PlayStation 4. Um, I don't think they are. I don't think they're putting the new one on the PlayStation 4, are they? I can't remember now. But I don't have a PlayStation 5. And there's a lot of <clears throat> there's a lot of red tape as far as getting it on Steam. That's the worst part is like it's on Steam, but you can't access it unless like you're specifically in the Japanese Steam on the Japanese account like steam account so yeah I, I don't exactly know how to do that um i i don't know how to i i i think there probably might be some ways to do it but there isn't as many easy ways and people doing it specifically as they do with the argentina stuff <laughs> if i wanted an argentinian uh steam account uh i can figure that out pretty easily because they got some people who will do that pretty quickly um, the Japanese one's a little bit different though. Uh, sim through the date. Let's see here. They want swanger. They just want to give me some picks. By the way, I have also found out, um, one of the yucky spirits discords has a full guide on getting it. Am I on one of them? I'm on like an old one. I'm on the spirits translation and I don't know if they, if this is even used anymore, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. I don't know if this one's even used set up the discord for pro spy translation. That's only got like 36 members. I don't know if this one's cause this was like spirits translation from like a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if this is the one probably not. I think OS also had something about it as well. They were talking about it. That's the new one, and that uh, that one has the guide. Oh, the Pro Spy translation with like thirty six people. Okay, I might have to I might have to join that one then because I have not checked this uh, Spirits translation one in quite a while. I'll have to con I'll have to consider that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I can get it run, if I can get it running, somehow. Uh, if I can get it figured out, I wouldn't mind. I, I would love to play it. I honestly, when I heard it was announced for Steam, I was very disappointed that it was not going to be on uh, American Steam. Um, so I've been, I've, I've thought about like how I could make it potentially work 
And I haven't really known that, but I think maybe I'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me check out. Let me see this. Guy who did most of the translation work, made that new one, plans to make an updated website for translating. Oh, that's good. Because, yeah, I I used his translation stuff. Is it the same guy who did it for, like, uh, I don't know if I used it for, like, 2021, but I remember all the way back in 15. I don't know if the guy who did 15 is the guy who's still been doing it. Because I know he had, like, his own website for a while. And I think I actually paid, like, the 10 bucks to access his his uh his stuff not the same guy he's the guy who took over okay so it's a different guy gotcha two no by the way face of the bats again so yeah i'll have to i'll have to do stuff with i'll have to do stuff with uh with this i think i'm, I'm kind of excited for it because things things are working out pretty well with this i've got a lot of different rules that i've i've messed with to try to make it do pretty well like you got a player go home game in this in the quarterfinals and then the semifinals and finals are three games so not too bad i might have to i, I think i'll definitely have to do something with this um but yeah let me show you the madden thing real quick too because that was that was something that i was that that's something i haven't done really anything with it besides change like names and logos uh, but I also looked at a custom league for that as well. But uh, there we go. So I'll, I do have a recording of this. So for those of you who are potentially excited about it, let me know. Because uh, I'll probably do something with this. Like I said, this is this is a game where honestly I'm having about the most fun I've had with an NBA 2K game since 16 or 17. And they have added in a lot of new shit that I'm very interested in as well. So I'm excited with all of this. Uh, so, yeah, those of you who are watching on the VOD, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.